Hi friends, I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Today we're going to be making some coconut curry shrimp and crab legs. This was Wednesday's dinner and it was so delicious. So right here I have my shrimp already cleaned. All right, you will see some of them with the shell on because that's how I like it, but they are de-veined. I just butterfly them, remove the vein, but I keep the shell on because when I'm eating my shrimp, I like to eat it from the shell and it gives me a more of a seafood flavor. All right, my daughter doesn't like the shell, so she went ahead and removed some. As you can see in my hand right here, she butterfly them and she removed the shells. For the crabs, we're going to be using some snow crab legs that I picked up in the store. They're already pre-cooked, so they will go in the pot at the very end. All right, so I do have my curry paste. If you haven't seen the video where I made this curry paste, you can go ahead and check it out. But um, the, cook, the curry is already cooked, so it's going to be easy to go down on the stomach. All right, guys, so I have some oil heated. I'm going to go ahead and saute. I have my onion, scallion, garlic, and scotch bonnet pepper, all depending on how spicy you want your shrimp to be. So when I was making the curry paste, I did add garlic in there. So I didn't add too much garlic in this because I don't want it to overpower everything. To go with this dish, I have some rice cooking. But if you want to go ahead and make some mashed potato, it will go well with this curry shrimp as well. All right, so as soon as my vegetables are sauteed, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my curry paste. Now, if you're not going to be adding any coconut milk to this, after adding your curry paste, you can go ahead and add your shrimp. Because remember, the curry is already cooked, so there is no long process here. All right, but because I am making coconut curry paste and I'm using the actual dry coconut that you grated, I have some leftover from Sunday. So what I did was... I add it to this and I'm going to allow the coconut in itself to boil for at least 10 minutes before I add my shrimp. That way the coconut can get to cook properly. All right. And as I said before, I'm using some dry coconut that I had left over from Sunday. I had put it in the freezer and now I've thawed it out and we're going to use it. So I want this to cook properly so that it doesn't hurt the belly. All right. So we're going to boil it for at least 10 minutes and then we're going to add our shrimp. As soon as that nice custardy thick gravy is formed, we're going to go ahead and add our shrimp and our seasoning. So now it's time to add the shrimp and we're going to also go ahead and season the pot. All right. So whatever season you normally use when you're cooking your seafood, you can go ahead and add that. I personally don't like Old Bay. I know a lot of people like to use Old Bay when they're cooking their seafood, but I think it's a bit too salty and I really don't like it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add my seasonings. I'm also going to go ahead and add some more scallion and onion thyme i'm gonna add some red pepper as well it all depended on how spicy you want it i personally like seafood on the spicier side but not too spicy where you're not able to taste the food so guys if you ever smell the kitchen right now it smells so good and i know this is not the conventional way to cook curry but trust me if you try this method when you're cooking your curry seafood you, will, you won't regret it, trust me. It's really good. So go ahead and try it and let me know. All right, so I'm going to cover the pot, allow everything to cook down, and then I'm going to add the crab legs. And remember, shrimp doesn't take a long while to cook. So about three, four minutes, you can go ahead and cover, and then you can go ahead and add your crabs. And re the reason for this is because the crab is already cooked. So we're just going to add them last to the top and cover it and allow them to absorb that good curry sauce at this very moment as i'm doing this voiceover i'm thinking about some good caribbean curry crab like mm, i feel homesick right now i mean this crab meat is edible <laughs> but i'm used to some good caribbean curry crab and i'm just thinking about it right now especially when you have some nice roast bread fruit on the side let me not think about it all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and re-season the pot with some skelly and thyme, as you guys have just seen, with some scotch bonnet pepper. And I don't want to stir the pot too much because this crab um, is going to, you know, shred in pieces if I continue doing that. So I'm just going to go ahead and allow this to cook down 
for a couple minutes and then we are ready so as soon as that crab meat absorbed the curry sauce you are good to go and trust me whenever you're making some seafood just go ahead and try this method make your coconut curry sauce and then add your seafood and you have some bomb dinner y'all know how some of us jamaicans love our curry gravy already all right so this was wednesday's dinner thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy the video i hope you're all staying safe and having a lovely and blessed weekend thank you for clicking on my video and for sticking and staying with me i appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you guys in my next one